it's Wednesday it's Halloween it's late and live live from much Wenlock in England on a Sunday afternoon <laughs> this is live English mr. Duncan it isn't Sunday it's Wednesday as you just said So here we go it is Wednesday and it's late and live it's been a long time since we've done one of these and the big question is will I manage to stay awake for the whole stream that's the big question just to give you an idea of how cold it is tonight we have the fire burning in the living room there it is a live view of the fireplace and just in case you are feeling a little bit cold at the moment you can you can move closer to your computer monitor or mobile device and hopefully the fire in our house will keep you warm so here we go and what is coming well first of all I can tell you something I can tell you something that's here right now guess who is here go on see if you can guess yes it's Mr Steve and Mr Duncan oh my goodness Hello. He <laughs> oh, oh I, we get claps, do we? Oh, well done, well done, Mr. Duncan. Thank well you. done on your. Uh, <laughs> and he said 20, 21 years, twelve years. It's only twelve years. So what are we doing to celebrate, Mr. Duncan? I'm very excited. I you know I love a party, celebrations, cakes, snacks, that sort of thing. Have you laid something on for the celebration, Mr. Duncan? Absolutely nothing. Oh. Oh, well, I'm going home then. I have a glass oh, of water. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. I have a glass of water. That's it. Is that how you're celebrating? No alcohol, no vodka, no beer, just a glass of water. I mm. saw that Belarus here was first on there today on the live chat. You are really eager. I know. <laughs> well, I'm not usually on at the beginning. I'm no. usually upstairs frantically preparing and words and, and, and phrases and idioms. And, and we're certainly not normally on this late at night. <laughs> we're not. I've just realised <laughs> that it's very late at night. It's been a while since we've done one of these and already I can feel it. Oh. I can feel oh. it. I can feel it hitting me. All of the neighbours are asleep in bed now. <laughs> Actually, you're right. Because I, about half an hour ago, I thought I'm going to go for a little walk outside. It's pitch dark. OK. I felt a bit tense. Tense because I've been working today and I have to work late upstairs tonight. And I, I felt really tense and wound up. I needed to re release some tension. I thought I'll go for a walk. And it was very still, cold, dark, slightly drizzly, bit of drizzle with rain. And uh, there was nobody around. And, you know, it was absolutely wonderful. And I can't remember where I was going with this story. What did you <laughs> what did you say just before I started the story? Well, I said, hello, welcome to the live stream. Mm -hmm. This is yes. Mr. Steve. He's joining me tonight. And you said a... you said something about water. And then I yes. drank a little bit of water. We had a look at the fireplace. So yes. there's, there's the fireplace. We had a look at that. And then you said you were feeling a little bit tense. Yes, and then I you, was and then you went out, and then you went outside. Uh, and I also mentioned that the neighbours were all in bed. That's it. That's what it was. Thank you, Mr. Duncan. Oh, you're so clever. And I went for this walk, and I noticed that as I was walking, I mean, it was only half and half past nine at night. Okay. All the houses, all the lights were off. Yes. Hardly any houses had any lights on because around here where we live, they all go to bed at 9, 9.30 at night. All the neighbours go to bed very early. They do. We're the only ones still up. It's quite, when I, it, it's quite bizarre. Every time we go out anywhere and come back, you know, it's before 10 o'clock, the place is dead. You, you would have no problem finding us after 8 p.m. at night <laughs> yes. because because our house is the only one that still has its lights on if we say <laughs> it it's dead we we mentioned that word didn't we on uh, on uh, on sunday yes and so i was saying it's dead 
in, in the village is dead. Yes. Not meaning there are dead bodies everywhere, but oh. it's just very quiet. Nothing's okay. happening. OK. I was trying to get through today's live stream without mentioning dead or death, but... It's Halloween. It's Steve's fault. And of course, it is Halloween. Actually, so Mr Duncan, sorry to interrupt. I think the reason that they all go to bed early is because they know that often we go for walks late at night and they're scared stiff. So they all they all go inside because right. they feel a bit they feel a bit uneasy. We're walking the street with our with our torches flashing light everywhere. Our torches. Yes. <laughs> what, what kind of what kind of torch is that? Well, it's, it, it, well we've got several sizes of torches. Yes, we've got a very small one, we've got a medium sized one, and we've got a huge one. It's like carrying a lighthouse I'll on you. I'll tell you something. It's very hot. So you interrupted me for that. Was it worth it? I don't know. Let the viewers decide. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. So here we go. And we are celebrating 12 years on YouTube. Oh, Mr. Duncan. I still can't believe that I've been doing this for over 12 years. Look, look at the sign behind Steve. That's what it says. It says 12 years. Look at that. Yes, as Steve is completely in the way of it. I'm not. Yes. I'm just highlighting move, move it. Move back a bit further. That's it. Yeah, that's it. There it is. It says 12 years on YouTube. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. It was on this day in 2006 that I created my YouTube name, Duncan in China and of all the questions that I'm asked I think one of the most common ones is Mr Duncan why do you call your YouTube channel Duncan in China well the reason is because when I created my YouTube channel I was living in China I was not only living in China I was also teaching in China and there you can see me in China and this picture was taken on my first day in China teaching what, English. What did you do to that girl to make her look? Uh, she looks like she's trying to stifle a laugh or she looks quite embarrassed. I think she's quite embarrassed because most of my students had never met a foreigner. So I was the first foreigner, the first person that many of them had met. So she was shy. She was a bit shy. A bit and, that, shy. and that was my first ever lesson. Wow. So so one of the, the members of staff at the school came in with a camera and took some photographs. Uh, and I was also feeling a little awkward as well. So this particular photograph was taken not 12 years ago, but way back in 2003. Wow. So even lot longer ago, you've got a tie. It looks like it was 1970 or something because of the quality of the picture. Yes. Well, it was way back in 2003. Don't forget, digital photography was in its early stages mm. in 2003. Not many people appreciate just how basic cameras were <laughs> just 15 years ago. Wow. So technology has come such a long way. So there is a photograph just to show that I was in China. Let's have a look at another one. And this is the place in which I was living. And this is where I started my YouTube channel in China. Look at that nice straight road. That is a lovely road and all those houses. When I first moved to the city of Baotou, all of those houses were empty. They'd been built, but no one could afford to live in them. But now they are all full. So people are living in all of those houses now. There are people in all those empty apartments. They are living there now because things have changed over the years. And here's another photograph. Here I am sitting by my computer. There we go. And now you know why my channel is called Duncan in China, because when I created my YouTube channel, I was still living in China. And you can't change the name of it now, can you? Well, I can change the name, but you still keep the original name when it comes up as a URL. So that's the main problem. Okay. One more picture in China. Do you know where I am? Can you recognize the place? Do you recognize that handsome man? And I'm not talking about Chairman Mao. <laughs> I was about to say that. It's not Chairman Mao. That's the other guy. <laughs> who took the picture, Mr. Duncan? It was one of my friends who lived in Beijing. Wow. And I went to visit during the October holidays because they, they celebrate 
their national holiday in October and I went to stay for a couple of days in Beijing so there you can see me standing in Tiananmen Square you look like a, a real dude <laughs> do you I you look like you're definitely you should have a rucksack on your back and, and, and a tent that was folded up that was 13 years ago you look like uh, you, I don't remember that top where did you get that top from I actually bought that top whilst I was in China and you can tell it was bought in China because the English on the shirt is dreadful it doesn't mean anything mm. and this is something you would often see you would often see t-shirts and sweatshirts and clothing with, with things written on them in English but the English would make no sense because the person that, the, that designed <laughs> the 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 t-shirt or the sweatshirt didn't speak English so they just put anything down you look like you've got a, a unfeasibly long neck oh thank you <laughs> That's very kind of you. And here's one la one more, one more. I'm sure you're getting bored with this. I am, yes. And here's another one taken during the holiday season, during the Chinese New Year. And you oh. can see, uh, and just behind me, you can't see in that photograph, but there was snow all over the place. It, it had been snowing. So actually, they, it was freezing cold. You still got those gloves. A bit like tonight. Have I still got those gloves? I think I have I've somewhere. Seen them lying around somewhere. I think I've still got them. Yes. <laughs> so there. For those who are wondering why we call the channel Duncan in China, now you know why. Because I created this channel whilst living in China. Although, having said that, twelve years ago, we weren't doing this. We didn't have the live stream. We have this technology, this high level of technology. So originally the the quality of the video the quality of the the video footage anything that you uploaded to YouTube was was a very poor quality and you couldn't live stream at all that's correct when YouTube first started so way way back in 2006 YouTube was a very different place so reminiscing or you are rather because I, I didn't really help you out in the beginning no because uh, you were in England and I was in China. Yes, but even when you came back, I wasn't helping you out very much. I was supporting you, hmm. supporting you. <laughs> some might in say, your some might say you're still not helping me very much. I've been there most of those 12 years. Through the heartache and the tears. <laughs> and that's just me. Oh, so, the trials and tribulations, the ups and downs. We are going to have a look at some of my very early videos, by the way, some of which I, I did film in China. But first, you know what's coming next. Yes, the live chat. The live chat is on, baby. And let's see who was first. I wonder. I know who was first because I saw it. I've already mentioned it, Mr. Duncan. Oh, OK, then let's have a let's yes, go right back to the beginning. Belarusia. Belarusia, well done. Congratulations. You are first. Julie G, Martha, Danilo, Nicole. Belarusia. Hello. Belarusia, I would like to give you oh, a round. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> you know, when I'm talking, <laughs> a round of applause for Belarusia. <laughs> I think the reason is Steve is not familiar with the format of the start because you're not here I'm never here at the start ah, no. you see so I'm usually relaxing I will forgive you Steve I uh, will forgive you so I went for a, a walk tonight because I think if I hadn't have done I'd have been really a bit on edge and a bit aggressive tonight <laughs> and I feel just nice and calm and chilled that's good and uh, let's have a look at some of the more of the of the live chat Mr Duncan we have Danilo we have Nicole hello Mr Duncan happy anniversary we also have who else is on Martha. Martha Martha in Poland yes Pedro oh you've got two you've got two people with the uh, spanners tonight yes Pedro and Belarusia you are in charge <laughs> of the live chat no make, fighting well they won't fight how many jokes I'm sure they won't fight do they have to if there's somebody who's playing up on the live chat do they have to confer with each other no uh, do they have to decide have a little meeting no and say you know so they can just wipe anybody off at any point that's it Pedro and Belarusia wow, power if, Belarusia and Pedro if you see anything that you don't like on the live chat you can you can kick them out okay uh, you have complete 
authority <laughs> can they kick each other out so, but, but please don't let the power go to your head so if if Belarusi gets a bit uh, <laughs> envious that Pedro's also uh, got a spanner can uh, Belarusi kick Pedro off and vice versa as far as I know you can't <laughs> kick you can't kick other moderators out of the room oh so the mo <laughs> so there be worth trying so they are stuck with each other <laughs> and they're right together there it's look. A, it's a bit like a marriage Julia <laughs> it's so late it's my second time on the late and live stream thank you Julia we are not normally here late and live normally we are here on Sunday at 2 p.m. UK time and there you can see under the screen right now down there Julie is there sweetness Mitra Lewis and Alberto says he hasn't been here for a while and he's uh, said it's a wonderful surprise to see us both tonight yeah it's a wonderful surprise to see you too it's a wonderful surprise for all of us yes <laughs> yes because you weren't going to do this tonight well I, I was I was going to do it, but I fell asleep earlier. I don't know what's happening. I think it's my age and you fell asleep as well. So Steve, yes. Steve was sleeping earlier. I was sleeping and and I, I, I found it very hard to wake up. I thought there is no way I'm going to be able to do tonight's live stream. I, I really thought I was going to have no energy, but I seem to have perked up. I've got perked my, up. I've got my energy. It's the phrase we use when you get your energy back. You've perked up. Perk. Perk up to perk up. You see, we're still teaching. Yes. We're not, we're not <laughs> just going to gas here. So when did we when did we stop teaching? I don't know. <laughs> 12th anniversary. Thank you. 12th university. Meek is here as well. MX25A. I remember I've recognised all these names from when I was doing the, the register. I'd like to do the register again, but it's very hard work. What happened to the register? Well, the problem is, Mr. Duncan, uh -huh. with the register yeah. is that I cannot keep up. When I normally when when you start the live lesson, I was upstairs watching it mm -hmm. on my computer mm -hmm. and then I was ticking everybody off my list. But there were so many people coming on all the time and, and new people. and I had to keep adding them on. That it got to, it just got too much for me, Mr. Duncan. Too uh, much. So it was too much work. Sue Cat's here as well. <laughs> Hello, Sue Cat. Nice to see you here. And I think that is a good opportunity to mention something that we received today from Sue Cat. A lovely message. Shall we listen to Sue Cat's message? Shall we? Let's. Would you like to hear it? I would, because I haven't heard it yet. Here it comes then. Here is Sue Cat's lovely, lovely message hello mr duncan hello mr steve here is sukat 77 from cordoba argentina cordoba it's a province that's in the center in the middle of the argentinian map so we have mediterranean weather we have almost everything very very cold winters with sometimes with snow and very very hot summers we are not my husband and i we are not fond of summer because it's very 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 hot but now it's springtime and it's a beautiful weather springtime is the best for us everything is green the plants are beautiful the, the birds are coming to eat here and we have a little river, a little branch of the Anisakate River at the end of our yard. We have nine steps and then we have the river and then there's a little island. We call it an island. It's a, a patch of land. I don't know how to say it, but there are lots of trees and plants and rocks and sand. Well, I wanted to tell you that when we found you was a very very hot day a very hot summer day it was last Christmas we were looking for something on the internet with snow a film or something and we found you and it was a treasure really and we love your your lessons your, we love your jokes I love when you roll your eyes I love it it makes me laugh and sometimes I'm moody or sad and you really enlighten my 
Sunday breakfasts. And for that, I just want to say thank you. Thanks to you and Mr. Steve. And also I wanted to say something about Halloween, that I hate masks, really. But there are some beautiful disguises. There, there are beautiful costumes, really beautifully made. That I like. But masks, no, I don't like any kind of scary mask. And the first thing that I wanted to say, it's to salute you, <laughs> congratulate you, because of your 12th year on the live stream, on the, the YouTube lessons. It's really amazing. The, those lessons are really so well made, the edition, the music, the places you, you record, the, the birds, the, the nature. So I thank you, I thank you for your lessons and I love you and I send you kisses and hugs from here and I'm expecting to see you on Wednesday night on this special lesson with your 12 year on YouTube. Kisses from here. This is Sukat, very nervous to all of you. Kisses. Thank you very much to Sukat for that wonderful audio message all the way from Argentina. Thank you very much and if you would like to send something to me you can record your voice or maybe even make a video and you can send it to my email address the details are under this video and also you can find it on my YouTube channel if you go to the information about my YouTube channel the email address is also there as well mr steve is here as well yeah you've had quite a few messages sent to you from people haven't you pedro sent one over it, over the uh, yes pedro actually sent a photograph it's funny you should mention that because i have a message sent from pedro this was sent last week but i didn't have time to show it hi mr duncan this is pedro i'd like to make a request can you share these photographs with other classmates there are some pictures of the Amazon Opera House. Uh, so I thought we will show one of the photographs. So here it is. Wow. Amazon Opera House. So there is a magnificent building. Now, what I love about that photograph, Pedro, is you have the very stark contrast between the, the old building and the new building in the in the distance. So there you can see a large tower block, obviously there are people living in that and in the foreground you have the opera house so you have quite a quite an interesting contrast there between old and new so thanks a lot Pedro for sharing that I do appreciate it I think also I have something else to show oh yes I know because if you noticed in Sue Cat's recording Yes. Could you hear the birds? I could. I thought, <laughs> what lovely wildlife! I could hear. I could hear that uh, in the background. So, and uh, and two cats got a um, a river uh, yes. at the bottom of a yard, and an island as well. Yeah, here is Sue. Here is Sue Sue Cat's garden right now. Here it is. So there is Sue Cat's garden. Look at that. Oh, that looks fantastic. And if you look very closely, you can see a cat. Oh, yes. I wonder if that's Sue Cat's cat. Sue Cat's cat. <laughs> but look at that. I, I must admit your your garden looks amazing. I love that big old tree. What type of tree is that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that is. It's probably it might be uh, like a rainforest tree. I don't know. Yes, it looks We'd incredible. Like to know. It does look amazing. That looks beautiful, Sue Cat. So yes, congratulations. You. It looks like you've got yourself a very nice garden there. We probably don't. That's probably a tree that could well be native to uh, Argentina or certainly South America. OK. It'd be nice to know the name of it. Uh, whether we... doesn't look familiar to me. I don't think we've got them here in the UK. Oh. Uh, but uh, yes, um, if you do know the name of that tree, please let us know, Sue Cat. 
it's Halloween, by the way. It's Halloween, and Sue Cat was saying she doesn't like people with masks on. Well, we are going to put our special Halloween masks on right now, Mr. Steve. If you if you come and stand next to me, like yes. stand up. Okay, we're going to stand very steady because I'm going to now do something for Halloween. <laughs> oh, we are now going to wear our pumpkin heads. Is it going to be scary? It might be oh. a little bit scary. <laughs> I see. So there we go to celebrate <laughs> to celebrate Halloween. We are now wearing our pumpkin heads. Do you like that? <laughs> now, as you can see, there are some holes in the front, so we won't suffocate. So what do you think, Steve? Do you oh, like that's very? Oh, I'll, I'll uh, keep yeah, moving. If, yeah, there we go. You don't have to keep moving. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to line my eyes up with the hole. There it, we go. it will never happen. There we go. Look, I'm doing it. Mr. You won't Dempsey. be able to line your eyes up unless your head is the same shape as a pumpkin. I'm trying to do something. <laughs> oh, oh, you're definitely doing something. Hello, everybody. Welcome. It's scary night. Welcome to our Halloween live stream. <laughs> That's very scary, Mr. Duncan. It's, very, it's starting to scare me. Pumpkin head. <laughs> <laughs> pumpkins well you know, can we you know, teach while we've got these pumpkins on yes on our of course we can and now you can see some real pumpkins for sale in much wenlock because during halloween people make something called a jack-o-lantern where they they carve a face in the front of a pumpkin i don't know what steve's doing there i'm trying to get closer so that i can line my eyes and <laughs> mouth exactly up there we go. We're back on now. Oh, there we go. Tori, you're blocking my light. <laughs> I've now disappeared there into. We go. I've in... got my eyes and mouth perfectly lined up with the holes. Okay. Yes, you're doing it now, Mr. Duncan. I'll try. You got to tilt your head a bit. <laughs> perfect. What a perfect fit. Hello. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I don't know why I'm talking like that either. Hello. Ah ah ah! ah. ah. Oh, great. Yes. I've had enough of this, Mr. Duncan. OK, let's get rid of those. <laughs> it's that, very clever, though. It took me three days to design that. Oh, and we're back. And we're back. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, I think I prefer the pumpkin. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, that was a bit of fun, Mr. Duncan. I didn't know you were going to do Did that. Did you enjoy that? You always surprised me with some new technological marvel. You haven't wet yourself again. No, not as far as I know. OK, good. It doesn't. It feels quite dry down there. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the diaper on tonight let's go back to the live chat shall we yes live chat time let's see what's going on oh those masks make me laugh they are not scary oh that's okay i'm not sure what's more scary that the, the jack-o-lanterns or mr steve's face and mr duncan's face uh, ah yes pedro said that uh, that was built 1869 Oh, that okay. opera house was built 1869. Is that correct? That's incredible. That's incredible. So we are talking not quite 200 years. Someone sent us a big kiss. Where? From Argentina. Right at the top. Let's have a look. Beatriz. Hello, Beatriz. Hello, Mr. Duncan. I just let you know. Oh, I've just met you some days oh. ago. Happy anniversary. I love your videos and I love you. Thanks. You are the best. A big kiss from Argentina. Beatriz. Hello, Beatriz. And welcome. Welcome. I suppose I should give you a round of applause to welcome you. Yes. Very good. Thank you. If it is your first time on the live chat, please let me know and I might send you some applause or maybe some fireworks. Oh, because next Monday, you know what day it is next Monday? Is it the 5th of November? It is the 5th of November, Guy Fawkes night or bonfire night. And we are, of course, here on Sunday. Do you remember what we did last year, though, for Halloween? Because we, we did some very special things last year. We made a big effort last year. <laughs> remember the studio last year. <laughs> and, and also we got dressed up. And this is what we looked like last year. So there's me. So that was a year ago. Uh, can you believe that's a year ago? Uh, no, I can't. I know, it's incredible. It, it only seems like yesterday. And here is Mr. Steve as well. And that's how we looked last year. So that was last Halloween. But this <laughs> year, you can see that we've put absolutely no effort whatsoever 
into our appearance this year well I've got a black shirt on yes you see I thought it's Halloween I'll wear a black shirt yes uh, but we didn't really have time because it's it's the 31st is in the middle of the week we didn't really have time to uh, because last time it was on a Sunday wasn't it Mr Duncan that's it yes and uh, so we've be because it's to prepare. because it's in the week everything is crazy and chaotic and I've been working <sighs> so that's the way it goes it's our 12th anniversary 12 years of making English lessons would you like to go back in time right now Steve we're going to have a look at something I would I, oh I thought you meant literally we're going to have a quick travel through time cast your mind right back to the year 2006 hello world hello can you see me now hmm so we're here it's not okay it's okay look. it's okay welcome to mr duncan's first ever edited video isn't it exciting well it's been another busy week and of course as usual i've been in the school teaching english that's my job i think one of the most common questions i'm asked during my time here in china by my students is how can i improve my english One thing I've noticed, my fingers have gone dead. Look, my fingers have gone a strange reddy, blue, purpley, pink color. Not very good. I think, I think if I stay outside much longer, I think they will fall off. Hi everybody, this is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. Welcome to the very first episode of my series of English teaching videos. You know, the world of English is a fun and exciting place to be. I'm so glad you could join us for another lesson. Why do we need phonetics? The reason why we need a phonetic code is because some English letters have more than one sound. And because some letters, when joined together in a word, actually create a new sound of their own. Also, there is the silent letter that can appear within a word.
it is wednesday night late and live just like it says on your screen 20 minutes away from 11 o'clock at night it's not daytime it's night time here in the uk so how are you feeling steve i'm i'm holding up <laughs> which is an expression that means i'm i'm fine i'm i'm, I'm making an effort yeah. to stay awake i'm not falling asleep yet your strength hasn't faded no my strength hasn't faded exactly <laughs> interestingly enough sue cat said it was uh, it was um spring in uh, in argentina yes so you're we're dying off with the winter coming on okay. and uh, you're renewing yourself with spring which is fantastic i do love that i love the fact that during our christmas season here in australia they're normally having a heat wave so I love that. I love that sort of difference where one one side of the planet is having completely different weather from from what we're having. I love that very much. Mustafa is here on the live chat. Let's have another look at the live chat. Why not? Because it is all about you tonight. I oh. saw uh, Jeff as well. Oh, yes, I noticed here. Where, where is Jeff? Somewhere back there. There is Jeff. Which reminded me. Uh, that Sue Cat has mentioned on several occasions yeah. um, an internet uh, program called Petrolicious. Okay. Because uh, she knows I like cars and Jeff knows I like cars. Well, it? I had a look at it tonight. Oh, Steve. It's a website, a Petrolicious website. Finally. Yes. And uh, I watched a little video about a TR7, a Triumph, which is a car that I used to own uh, back in the early 1980s. So, yes, it looks very interesting and I will be paying more attention to that and going into more detail and seeing what's on the website and watching a lot of the videos. But it looks very interesting. So finally, I've looked. At Petrolicious. At Petrolicious. And uh, so if you're interested in cars, it's worth a look. It is a well-known fact that Steve does like cars jc geordie is here mr duncan congratulations on your 12th anniversary yes it was 12 years ago today when it all started anna says oh a very young mr duncan yes i was very young 12 years ago and they were also commenting about other aspects of your appearance which may have changed over the years mr. i think duncan. i think someone may have mentioned that i am a little heavier now than i was then we know that. And have you uh, been on the scales yet? No. Uh, look, we'll do this on Sunday, shall we? We'll okay. do it properly. Yes. So that's, what, that's what, yes. what I will try to do on Sunday is set up a, a proper camera and so we can do it live. But, but it's very hard to do it live because we need to be on a hard surface. And the mm. problem is the, the carpet in here is very soft. <laughs> yes. so, so the scales don't work. That was interesting because Mr. Duncan... <laughs> Weighed himself on a hard floor surface, and what what did you weigh? Twelve I think it, and a half. It, it, what, no, what, what's it, the reference? No, it sir? showed me. It showed me ten stone. No, I, yes, I'm getting on to that. But what did it show? What was? You, what is your actual proper? What is your weight now? Thirteen and a half. Thirteen and a half. But then Mr. Duncan came in here with, where there's, we're standing on a carpet, and weighed himself on there, and he says, "Oh, I think I think they were wrong upstairs. I, I'm only ten and a half." Yes. And apparently, if you put scales on a carpet, they don't work. <laughs> they must absorb some of the weight and it, it shows you a lower weight than you actually are. OK, I think we understand that. Well, I didn't. I didn't realise it did that, a weighing machine, if you put it on a carpet. I must admit, I got very excited. So if if so, this is a good idea for people who are losing weight, but you're not losing weight very quickly. So if you weigh yourself, put 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 the scales put the thing that you weigh yourself with on a very soft surface yes. and then you will actually appear to be lighter you will i don't know how that works but it does uh, tomek says he's been watching you for eight years that's incredible thank you tomek for your your long-term viewership that's amazing your loyalty will be rewarded yes someday I don't know <laughs> yes. when. I'm not sure. Let's say in heaven. That's what they usually say, don't they? JC Geordie says, you might be older, but you're still good looking, Mr. Duncan. Thank you very much. Well, in Lithuania, says uh, Palmyra, they've got a day off tomorrow. Oh. It must be like a bank holiday. 
a public holiday maybe yes lithuania is that where they make the, the watches that's where they make watches well i'm sure they make other things as well <laughs> that's right no the, the the vostok watches isn't that lithuania oh for goodness sake no yes yes it is it is yes. exactly yes it's lithuania okay then we will set the scales out on sunday for mr duncan says jeff ah yes yes yeah, so you see i know what you did there Jeff. oh yes <laughs> yes i i know what you did you you thank you you, Jeff. you slipped in a use of the word set i yeah. never forget philippe is here hello philippe dos reyes in brazil too oh it, apparently in brazil it is also a public holiday interesting. tomorrow interesting so so yes i i'm i'm very intrigued to find out so what is the reason for your public holiday tomorrow philippe and palmyra what what is the reason i would like to find out what it's all about mr steve yes. has has been helping me for many many years but do you remember the first time that you ever appeared in my video lessons um no i don't i Not can the live lessons you mean Oh, just any lesson. The lessons, all of the lessons. Oh, no, I, uh, no, I don't remember, Mr. Duncan. Over the years. Well, it was 10 years ago. And as a way of proving it, here is Mr. Steve's first ever appearance in one of my English teaching videos. Hi everybody, this is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. In today's lesson, hey, we're hey, going hey, to hey, need hey, to... Hey, oh, what's, what's going on? <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> this, this is my lesson. What are, what are you doing? It is, I was just thought I'd help you a bit. I don't need any help. Some of your uh, lessons of no. the English no. pronunciation. No need. But thank you very so much. Good. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Some 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 some, 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 some bits we didn't use. It's video. Oh, is it on? Fascinating. Yeah, it's on. Oh, <laughs> recording. <laughs> Shall we have a go then? Shall we try? Try what? Try uh, the uh, the bit. The the. Okay. Will I come in and pretend to be you? Yeah, you're going to pretend to be me. Oh can, right. Can you do that? Um. Can I borrow your glasses? Give it to, no, you can't borrow my glasses. I need them. I said, just do a run as if you're doing it. Hi everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? Are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you okay? Okay. Try again. Are you happy? I hope so. <laughs> oh, no. Excuse me. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I hold your hand? <laughs> <laughs> La 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 The famous Mr. Duncan No, I'm not famous I've seen your, your videos <laughs> I've seen them, they're wonderful mm. They help me speak English oh. Before I know speak English now Good, <laughs> my English good Okay, he's just, a, he's just being offensive now, isn't he? Yeah, we've passed the boundary of funny Now we are into the offensive realm I'm, I'm getting out of the zen now Hurry up Hi everyone this is Mr. Duncan in England. It's, oh. a, it's everybody. Hi, everybody. Just dashed it then. I know, just hit the camera as well. Oh well, don't worry. Hi, what? Hi, everybody. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? <laughs> I hope so. Body language. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> Everyone. Why did you be right? It has to be right or we'll cry. 
cry forever. Mm. Did this across your bare bottom. I can't even afford a clapperboard. And uh, action! What, We're what going to... What, what are you doing? Oh, hello! What are you doing? Oh, Mr Duncan! I'm Mr Duncan, yes! Is, is it you? Is it really you? <laughs> it really is me! I used to have an awful accent, but now... I could work anywhere! Can, can you just, come! It's just seeing you, it's just so wonderful to see you in the flesh! Can you believe this, this guy's trying to be me? I can't believe it! Terrible. Anyway, I have to do my lesson now. Oh, right, okay. But I hope you don't mind, you know, if we That's just pretend okay. to be you. That's okay. Okay, I'll, I'll call the hospital, they can take you back. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> You're crazy. Yes, that was way back in 2008. Oh my goodness. Do you remember doing that? Did you see the comment that Jeff made? I did not. Did Jeff make a Thank comment? You, Jeff. I didn't see the comment. Jeff said that I haven't changed at all. I think he was on about me. Oh no, it was definitely me. No. <laughs> let's have a look then. Let's, let's see. <laughs> let's just see, shall we? Which, of course, is true because I look after myself, unlike Mr. Duncan, who stuffs himself with high-calorie snacks all day long. But who... <laughs> look. But, but Jeff says he hasn't aged... Oh, he means me. He, he means, means me. I think of he, course he does. I think he means me. <laughs> I think he's on about me. I think he's saying that I still look so young and handsome. Well, we know so. that isn't true because somebody's already said you look young. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, when, how long ago was that lesson? That, that was we... ten years. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's, so, yes. that's us ten years ago. So I look exactly the same as I did ten years all ago. All of those days, all of those summers, all of those dinners, all of those sleeps, all of those walks, all of those lovely long days where everything seemed so perfect. Ten years worth of that. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Oh, well, Mr. Duncan. So what are people saying? Well, first of all, we found out the mystery of the public holidays. Ah. Apparently, the 1st of November is All Saints Day or Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead? Yes. It's, so oh. I think it will be Spanish countries and maybe in French countries as well. Day of the Dead. So that's, that's very close then to uh, Halloween. That's very interesting as yes. well. In fact, if I'm not mistaken... Um, I think the origins of Halloween do have very similar connotations. Wow. I think so. Don't don't quote me on that, please. Well, we <laughs> did talk about this last year when we did the Halloween <laughs> lesson. Of course, we've forgotten already. Yes, it so was. Maybe it... we need to watch our lesson yes. and refresh our memories I think, about I think the origins we, of Halloween. I think we need to watch our own lesson. Yes, that tell... rings a bell now, All Saints Day. Shall we mention that last year? All Saints Day. Hmm. That's what uh, somebody just said, isn't it? That yes. The, uh... the Feast of All Saints. Okay. Or the Day of the Dead. Thank you, Caridas, for that. And also, Philippe wants to say something as well. Palmeira, he's not too good speaking. He's not the best person ever, but I hope he can get my... Oh, I think, I think they might be talking about the changes that are occurring at the moment in Brazil. Yes, it's been on the news here, hasn't it, Mr Duncan? We were talking about it yesterday on the news uh, in this country, and yes, it looks as if things are changing. Uh, it remains to be seen what will happen, because it's early days. So that's, that's all we're going to say about that for now. Oh. Mr Duncan, I'd like to see the pics, the pictures that I didn't see. Uh, I don't know which pictures you mean because we've shown quite a lot of pictures today, to is, be honest. Is that right then? Uh, Rod there says Lithuania doesn't make watches. Is it? Have we got the country right the, with, with the Vostok watch? Yes, Lithuania. Mm, I thought so. 
Yes. Yes, you look you look at Vostok watches. Vostok, Vostok Europe, to be precise. I don't know why you keep on about this particular brand of watch. Well, it's interesting. Well, you've got one. I've got one. But I we bought you one for your birthday. I do wish we were getting some sort of payment for this. Maybe we will. <laughs> when we're not, I can guarantee we're not. <laughs> In Poland, there are many free days of work. Oh, that's very nice. I like that. Maybe maybe we should move to Poland. Ebra Mo says good evening from Derby. Hello there. Do you mean Derby uh, in England? I would imagine it is Derby in England. Well, I, I can't think of any other Derby. Derby in uh, well, is it Derbyshire? No, I think yes, it's Derby. Derby is in Derbyshire. Oh, I thought it is. Yes, it yes. sounds like it would be. <laughs> the clue is <laughs> the clue is in the name Derby. Please show the picture of the Amazon Opera House again. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> 200 years old that was Pedro uh, I've got to find it now oh dear uh wait there see now look what you've done Pedro <laughs> look that's Pedro's fault not it's not my fault look he's, he's broken my uh he's broken my thing and right we don't know how to undo that do we Mr Duncan? oh it's it's so terrible when this happens it drives <laughs> me mad <laughs> technical issues that's it it's, it I've repaired it now oh, it's, Pe good. it's Pedro's fault not my fault Pedro fault so Pedro wants to see the the picture that I showed earlier. <laughs> I'm just talking here so I can find it. <laughs> oh, here it is. Look at that. So there it is. The Amazon Opera House. Nearly was it 200 years old? Something 18, like that. 1860 something. 1867 was it? Yes. I think it was, yeah. The 1860s. That's a long time ago. But I was talking about the contrast between the old building in the foreground and the new building in the distance which which looks like a large apartment block they've uh, looked like they've kept that building in very good state of repair pristine it looks very very well kept yes uh, so if so, if something is in very good condition we can say it's pristine pristine yes pristine <gasps> yes oh what nice it's been kept in a good state of repair very good Mr. Duncan, it's nearly 11 o'clock. Yes. Are you going then? Are we going? No. Well, bye. No, no, no. Bye. Well, oh. Ah. oh. Wait there, Mr. Duncan. I shall return with something. Okay. A little surprise for Mr. Duncan on his anniversary. Oh, no. Uh oh. See you in a bit. Here come the tears. Oh, apparently Steve's gone to get something as we approach 11 o'clock. We are only staying for a short time tonight because it's late. And to be honest with you, I am feeling a little bit tired. I am. So apparently Steve has something to show me. I don't know what it is. I am very intrigued. <laughs> what is Steve up to? I, I, I really want to know what he's doing. Let's have a look at the fire, shall we? There's the fire burning in the living room. Look at that. Keeping us warm on this very cold October night. Of course, a new month begins tomorrow, November the 1st tomorrow. And we are now counting down the days until Christmas. <gasps> wow. And next week, I will start putting the Christmas lights up. I will be doing that next week. So, oh. Mr. Duncan, congratulations on 12 years on uh, YouTube teaching English. And I've put a candle uh, on your favourite biscuit. Isn't that nice? Careful, it might fall off. <laughs> <laughs> That's the story of my life. I don't want to drop it and set fire to the studio. OK. But uh, Mr. S Mr. Duncan's favourite biscuit that I talked about on Sunday. OK. Because he was going to eat three of them in, in, in bed before even having his breakfast. And so I thought I'd put a candle on there for you. There's nothing wrong with eating. Stop it on your head. No, no please. <laughs> Stop it on my head. With, no, with no. all of the, the, the dandruff no, and do grease that. on my head, I Might think I would, I would burst into flames. Well, so, you need to blow the candle out in the time-honoured tradition <laughs> and why, make a wish. Why do you talk like someone from the, the 1600s? <laughs> well, I've got to talk clearly so that people can understand. So here we go then. I've got to give this a good blow. It's been a while since I've given anything a good blow. 
so I need a lot of puff I need it I need You've a, got plenty of that mr. Duncan I need a big puff so after three this is to celebrate my 12th year on YouTube you can see the effort I've gone to you've, you've gone to a lot of effort here Steve <laughs> how long did it get you to balance that candle well I had to melt the candle okay and and I, I wouldn't eat the biscuit if I were you you might get some wax in your between your teeth oh well yeah. remember last year I brought in a big cake I remember the cake last year so I thought how can I upstage that well I can't so it's just a, a candle on a biscuit Th this isn't quite <laughs> I'll be honest with you this is quite as impressive not as impressive as last year anyway <laughs> I will get my big puff and well there it done is. I thought you weren't going to blow it out then I've... well done Mr Duncan congratulations oh, there, let's, let's have some proper applause are you going to eat the biscuit I'm going to eat the biscuit oh maybe, maybe I don't want to eat the candle we should take a slice really I will I will let you have a little bit of the cake thank you very much so there we go there's there's a little slice for you thank you and a little slice for me so this is my my birthday biscuit for my YouTube waxy. my YouTube channel which is 12 years old today I'd like to see somebody do better than that no one could upstage a candle on a biscuit I think I think they might <laughs> I think they might be able to do that well I was just concerned that we might set fire to the studio but we've got away with that the fire's going out Mr Duncan yes it is you know he's put so many logs on that fire it's like a furnace in here it's so hot we say that's an expression we use in England when it's very hot somewhere in a room we say it's like a furnace in here I'm thirsty literally because obviously a furnace is somewhere something that where you burn things at high temperature so we we tend to say in the UK oh, it's so hot it's like a furnace in here I've said that three times but hopefully it's got through <laughs> it, it, it may Just have as we say if it's cold it's, oh, it's like a fridge in here it's like a fridge when it's cold so here we go uh, let's have a look the live <laughs> chat is on the screen let's see what people are making of all that nonsense oh I see uh, a round of applause yes thank you very much Palmyra I wish I could get a better person as oh <laughs> they're still talking about politics so wow. here, so here I am blowing my lovely candle out and everyone's talking about politics it's like they don't care about me we're going to cry it's the again. rise of the populist parties okay, which is then. happening all over the world okay Steve and uh, don't, don't ruin the mood I'm not I'm not going to I'm all upbeat and happy you're upbeat and we're going to be back on Sunday are we not Mr Duncan we are back on Sunday it is a very short live stream tonight we are going in a moment because already you can see that it's after 11 o'clock at night and for some people it might also be very late or even early in the morning where they are <laughs> thank um, you I was in England and my nephew confused firework for cake with real <laughs> that uh, yes so mm, interesting so what happened there I don't know uh, yes I mean you know you could cause a few problems there you don't want to eat a firework no or, or set fire to a to a, to a cake. That's, that's 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 a really bad case of indigestion there. I tell you. Really original, Mr. Steve. I hope my sister won't see that because maybe she will try to do the same thing with me on my birthday. Oh, I see, Gretel. I know what you mean. Yes. Well, Sue Cat, I decided not to go over the top and have a full blown cake tonight <laughs> uh, because, uh, well. We, 12 years is nothing you know it's 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 a landmark year that you've done 12 years but yeah. normally you do something at say 15 okay then or 20 I, I will do it for another three years and so, then you get something special at okay. 15 so in three years time we will be here again supposing that we are still both here of course we will be <laughs> and we will we will do a very special live stream for our 15th year so next year will be very disappointing it'll only be 13 years and then the year after that I wouldn't bother 
tuning in don't bother watching in two years time that'll be rubbish but in three years time it'll be the 15th anniversary so you should definitely join us for that one we'll do something really special for that imagine the 20th as well so 2021 will be when we do our next big live stream for the anniversary so I'm, I'm sorry that tonight has been a big disappointment really Congrats. yes it has really yes. oh you mean oh well, right okay then <laughs> is it time we uh we, we went mr duncan it's time to go it's time to go some last hellos before we say goodbye a little cookie is better than nothing i agree it's like a furnace in here thank you tomek yes it's very hot in here philippe says sorry mr duncan you always get my messages when i speak about politics I followed you here since 2009. Congratulations for that. Nine years. Furnace has a U in it rather than an E. Yes, Tomek. Just, uh, well, you know, we've got to point out these things. Tomek often corrects us. He does. So it's time for us to correct Tomek. <laughs> Furnace. It's all all fair in love and war. As That's they it. Say. So it's, it's all fair on the live chat. We can say... We, we can be very open and say what we think, what we, you know, correct each other. And there's no offence taken <laughs> and none given. So well, all meant in, in, in the best spirit. OK. In the best possible taste. <laughs> OK. I thought for a moment you were, you were doing the longest sentence ever in English. Congratulations. One more time. My best wishes from Pedro. Also, 12 is an important number. Thank you, Caradas, for your vote of support. Yeah, well, it certainly is. Uh, if you follow the metric system, which most <laughs> what? I mean, if you follow the metric system, <laughs> who's following the who's <laughs> who's following the metric system? Is there a magazine you can buy? Metric Monthly. All the latest measurements on well, page five. The metric wow. system is ten. Is is wow. it's ten? Isn't it? That's important. Goodness ten, me. twenty, thirty. I love those. I love those centimeters. <gasps> Ooh, there's a pin up this month of, of of a meter. I didn't mean it like that, Mister Duncan. Cool. Because the metric system is all about multiples of I, ten. I isn't wouldn't it? mind measuring. Will you let me speak. I wouldn't mind measuring that. It's in multiples of ten, whereas the old uh, imperial measurements oh. that we used to have were multiples of well 12 was an important one because it was a dozen 12 24 36 so if you want to click away by the way i know this is really boring now well, i'm right? explaining why you see that um marcelo said that no somebody said that 12 was an important number because it was in the imperial measuring system okay that we used to have before metric came in like inches and feet that's right 12 inches to a foot <laughs> Uh, so yes, it used to be it used to be important. So twelve would have been a significant number. Yes, but not anymore. Not anymore. No. So right, we're kind of, off. You've kind of proved the point, really. Belarusia says that she misses your late and live streams. Oh, okay then. Well, this is the only one we're doing, and so so make the most of this. Breathe in the air from this live stream that's on late. Enjoy it. Enjoy the atmosphere because it's going in a minute. Enjoy it. Soak up the atmosphere yes uh, we do use uh, percentages caridas oh dear why did you cut your cutlets i don't understand that why did you cut your cutlets oh i don't know Ta -ta, palmyra palmyra is off to bed okay then it's a lot of work 12 years thank yes you, sue Cat. yes thank you sue cat sue cat gets it <laughs> we i get it I'm not sure if you do get it. So we will be back on Sunday, every Sunday. Every Sunday we're here, Steve. Well, I might not be here every Sunday. I'm not guaranteeing I'll be here every Sunday. Well, that's true. But you will be. Unless so we're on holiday. Every Sunday, 2 p.m. UK time. And also, don't forget, uh, I will hold out my hand now and say, if you would like to donate some money via PayPal. There we go, you see. I've, I, I'm holding out my hand. There you go. So if anyone would like to. Uh... Yes, because I hadn't got any money to, to buy Mr. Duncan a cake. So I just had yeah. to put a candle on a biscuit. There you go. I've got my hand out oh, now. Mr. Duncan. Hand out. Hey, hey, Gav. Hey, Governor. Governor, spare some change, Governor. Spare some change for a poor, poor English teacher. Spare some change, Gav. Come on, Gav. Spare some change. Spare some change. 
Have you spare, finished? Spare some change for a, for a hungry, poor English teacher. Come on, spare some change. So if you'd like to make a donation on PayPal... I don't think that's going to work. Really? <laughs> Is that your best effort? <laughs> Next week, I will be sleeping in a doorway. See you all on... I'll have thrown you out. Yes, OK, then. <laughs> uh, lovely. 12 years is a long time. Yes, thank you, Suket. Thank you also to Mustafa. Thank you to everyone who has joined in tonight. Thanks for your attention. Mr. Steve is going now. I'm going now. Ta-ta. See you all on Sunday. Yeah. Bye, Steve. Are you fading me out or do you want me to just... I, I, will, of... I will push you away like this using my superpowers. <laughs> And he's gone. That's it. <laughs> I've been following since this year and I hope you, Mr. Duncan and Mr. Steve, will be with us for many years more. Thank you very much for that. That's very kind of you. See you all on Sunday. Thank you, Belarusia. Thank you, Mika. I am going. I will leave you with something a little unusual. It is... A video filmed in China because that's where all of this started all those years ago in 2006 so we'll leave it right there this is mr. Duncan in England saying thanks for joining me on this special late in live celebrating my 12th year on YouTube and of course you know what's coming next yes you do until Sunday 2 p.m. UK time. Ta-ta for now. Hello there. Today, we are going to take a trip to a place in Baotou, the oldest community in the city a place called Donghe. We must take a bus to get there, the number five bus. So we will take it right now. Do you want to come with us? Come on then, let's go. every single stop between here and Bonpe. So it would take around it would take around one hour to get to Donghe. So uh, so we're gonna wait for the quick bus which only takes about 40 minutes. This is a very common practice in Baotou. You have taxi drivers stopping at the bus stops. And they will stop at the bus stop and they will sound their horn. We're on our way to Donghe. Exciting. Buses are very popular here in China, uh, especially in Baotou, where many people still don't have cars, so public transport is very, very popular. has been terminated because there is smoke coming from the bricks so the driver has told us to get off <laughs> so, 
so we have left our bus now. Bye bye bus. Bye bye. There it goes. We've now arrived in Dong He. Come on, let's have a look around. I have to say, I like these bikes. They look really good fun. You can sit on the front and you can take a little passenger on the back. Really cool. There's one feature I always notice here in China. There seem to be police stations everywhere. Uh, Baotou is no exception. Uh, around Baotou there seem to be many, many small police stations. But the curious thing is you rarely see policemen. I've never understood that one. Now here's a memory way back in 2003 during SARS. I remember clearly standing up there at the top of that hill by the pagoda and I was dancing and singing because I was so happy because I had my SARS vacation and I remember uh, this shop over here uh, a camera shop they also came out and they were so interested in the foreigner dancing around they started taking pictures of me while I was doing it As you can see, Donghe is not a quiet place to be. The cars and the buses are continually sounding their horns all the time. Donghe is a busy, small area of Baotou, but in many ways, Donghe is the heart of Baotou. A common feature in many cities in China are parks, small areas for people to come and relax and take exercise. Donghe is no exception. Here we have a large square for people to walk, talk, share moments together and also do a little bit of exercise as well. Let's have a look around. Another thing I always notice in China is how active old people are. It may sound a little patronizing, but it's true that elderly people in China do tend to be more active than people in the West, dare I say. And Donghe is a good example of this activity. If you look around you, you will see I am literally surrounded by people over 70. So it's a great feeling to see so many elderly people, very active. And I think it's one thing uh, that we in the West can take a good lesson from. Another common factor in Donghe, as with the rest of China, is the way it's developing. As you can see behind me, yet another building is being constructed. In 1996, a large earthquake struck Donghe. Nobody was killed, fortunately, but many of the old buildings were destroyed. As a way of remembering this event, a large structure was built in the center of the square, as you can see behind me. Modern Baotou is very different to the Baotou of a hundred years ago. When Baotou was first created, there was only Donghe. 
So this is our last glimpse at Chunye Guanchao. It's worth mentioning that Spring Festival, the Chinese New Year, is coming soon. So many people around here today are getting very excited doing some shopping and preparing for the Lunar New Year. So there you have it, a little glimpse around Dong He here in Baotou, China. This is Mr. Duncan saying goodbye and I will see you another time. Thankfully, most people survived and your phone is ringing. That's very good. Okay, we're going to have to do that again, aren't we? Modern Baotou is very different to the Baotou of a hundred years ago. The original... Oh, uh, my mouth is a bit cold now. It's worth mentioning that... It's worth mentioning... Oh my God. These people start beeping their horns. It's worth mentioning that. Oh, God, this is, it's very difficult to film here.